it's LA. I'm back in the house again. I'm here with another reading for my for my Scorpios from the 13th to the 17th of 2020 in September. You know, if I skipped that for some reason. But I want to tell y'all thank you for dropping by and listening to me. Excuse me. Um, we're going to get started on your reading. We're going to see what foretold for my good old Scorpios. Have y'all been good? I have y'all been bad? I'm going to find out what you need to know, what's best for you to know. You know how it is. You got to know what's best for you. Because sometimes we forget what's best for us. We're doing everything but everything we're supposed to do. But, you know, I want to tell y'all where y'all subscribe for this channel. And uh, as it gets bigger, then I can... We can do the face and face, you know, but I got to get so many uh, subscribers before I can do that. But I want to tell y'all, thank you for stopping by my way. Because I'm all ready to let you know my skills. Because I got a lot of them. Because everybody, you know, just don't know what else, you know, what you got, you know. But anyway, um, we're going to get started with the tarot. Are you ready? We have the card I'm using the tarot. Okay. I ordered these, but I don't like to have to shuffle them because they uh, stick together, you know. So here we go. We're going to start off each day from the 13th to 17th. Because you tell me what's best for my, for my good old Scorpios. I have pretty three shuffled these so we wouldn't have a problem when we get started because I don't want no problems, you know. I want to make sure it's all good, you see. Okay, here we go. Okay, looks, okay, let's start out with the first day of what you have. Okay, the first thing that came out was the, um, on the 13th, the uh, Eight of Cups for the 13th. Okay, on the 13th, We've got some serious things going on. We kind of feel like, um, to me, a retreat, disappointing abandonment uh, from previous plans, shyness, and uh, but success and abandonment possibly for something better. You're going to drop something because you want something better. You don't want what you got. So you're going to drop that and go somewhere else. And you're going to go in by water and you're going to go find your success somewhere else. You're feeling like you're not successful at your job, your relationship. It could be one or two. You don't feel very successful about it. Hey, we all go through that because I know sometimes it can feel like a cuckoo co And, you know, uh, basically we, we making bad decisions where we add in faulty choices and you're doing hesitation, indecision, failure to... Uh, proceed ignoring opportunities and shyness. In other words, you, some of you've been ignoring that you need to move on. But they say to me, this is not the time because uh, the retrograde going on. So you got to be careful about that moving on at this point because it could mean backfire for you. So be careful. I would wait to after retrograde, which is all. You know, and then move on if you want a new job or something. I would. That's my opinion, but that's up to you. Okay. Now we're going to the uh, 14th. Excuse me. Uh, okay, we got, um, looks like we got the Six of Swords that came up. Six of Swords. Basically, to me, um, you're going to take a journey. Okay. You're wanting to uh, take a journey, a voyage. Um, you're basically attempting to go somewhere to get, uh, you're attempting to overcome difficulties and you want to um, just reroute yourself. And then you have to, you have success after anxiety. You're feeling like you got a lot of, but it's success after anxiety, but you have it. You know what I'm saying? It's bothering you and you need to take a trip. Some people especially need a vacation basically, but around retrograde, I wouldn't go nowhere. I'm just being honest, but you know, uh, sometimes headed to the wrong place, you know? And then it says, you just, you know, basically to me, you're just, um, uh, unhappy. 
your bitter experience, your period of your life. Material success does not allow the discontentment. In other words, you, you go in your feelings and stuff, but right now is not the time. Because if you go in your feelings, be careful about retrograde because it's not good to go in your feelings right now. <laughs> it's too many veils that's open and slightly, and it can cause you some slightly problems. But anyway, we're going to go to the 15th. Okay, we're going to get good. We got the magician. You got the magician. You think I'm playing? Here you go. Magician came out. It basically is a self-confident and a good salesman. And um, you slide up a trickster by hand. You know how to play. You know how to do a lot of skills with magicians. You can just trip your fingers and go. But she says your double dealings and dishonesties and scandals and ruins could be coming. Uh, injustice, your crafty person without virtue and stiffness. Uh, basically, they're letting you know um, that you just got lost. You don't know where you're going and you're trying to, you're not using your skills that you're capable of. To me, a person should use their skills what they're capable of if they're wanting to, to 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 succeed because we have a problem with where do we go now? What direction? I don't want to do this and I ain't got nothing skills in it. Like I say draw and you can't draw at all, right? But you're gonna go for that kind of task. No, you some people are not meant to do that. You gotta remember that's not for everybody. So we're gonna go to the 16th. And um looks like we got the five of cups. That came out <laughs> to me. You got some regret and some real meaning. You just marriages regretting without real love. Your marriages. You got flaws. You got inheritance. Incomplete union of partnership could be a loss of a partner. And you you just you you're in your feelings and some of you are just unhappy in your marriages and you regret that you did that. And you have a partial loss. Sometimes we lose a loved one in this particular is what it's saying. Could be a loved one that's in past and you're grieving over the person. And I understand that's a hard feeling I haven't met yet. But, you know, it's really not easy to grieve over someone and then walk on and say, oh, it's going to be cool. No, it takes, it's a lot of work, you know. We're going to move on to... Um, we got 13, 14, 15, 16, the 17th here, which we had the sun card. The sun card basically signifies accomplishments, favorable social relationships, love, job, joy, devotion, and engagement, happy marriages, some some of you in daily existence. Uh, also remember, this is allegedly and this is for all Scorpios. Some of you Scorpios, I'm getting mixed signals. Some of you unhappy, some of you are. That's what I'm feeling here. That's what's coming out. Uh, but I have to say more with that. Uh, to me, I feel like false pers perspective and uh, suspense. Your failure to... The person here that you're dealing with is a, a false... Uh, Perspection, you know, be careful about who you're tempting to marry. Make sure you know the person because, you know, they could be a, they, uh, they got untrustworthy, you know, you would an untrustworthy person sometimes. And then you get an honest man because, um, the, uh, queen of coins came out and the king of wands. So that tells me an honest and a person that's honest then got him a person that's trifling. And he don't see it because it's blind to the eye. It's not the time to get married right now doing retrograde. You see all kinds of things. I love this guy. You know, I love this, but you don't know what you what you're doing around retrograde. You can get you get your witch. So be careful. I would not do it. I would marry a retrograde. I'll wait till after the plans have to wait, because I'm not doing it. Okay. Then you got the hermit, which is over kindness. You you know, you're Foolish exercise of generosity, repeating errors. Come on, Scorpio. Uh, vulnerability, reunion. You're going to have to stop uh, going backwards, stop going into yourself, making yourself feel like crap. Okay. And then you got the four of coins. It's, you know, basically love and material wealth. You're a hoarder, user, skin filled, misuse. <laughs> 
ungenerous person, inability to share, greed, fear, and financial upset. Uh, the person that's around you, they're just kind of like, and to me, seems like uh, the female energy, but there's, to me, there's, you know, you got the energy of a male, the energy of a woman, but what I'm seeing is it um, goes deep, okay? Now we're going to go to the ancestry cards right here, and I'm going to pull some cards. What advice, what do you have to say to my good old Scorpios from the 13th to the 17th? Give them some encouragement. Let them know what they what else you would recommend for them to do on each day of this week, these five days. Give me, give Scorpio some good old TLC to let them know. No why I said TLC. That's strange. Okay. The thirteenth, what did you want to give them knowledge for the thirteenth? of September 2020. Can I have a card for that, please? Card for September. Okay, the third. You got it, here it comes. Okay, you got unleash the wild within. You need to go within yourself. You need to unleash the other part of you that you're hiding, Scorpio. You're not bringing out everything you possibly have. Remember, to succeed, you got to bring out your little bag of tricks and do what you got to do, but do it honestly because you got skills, but you got to bring it out. You got to stop sitting there and letting it hide. Bring it out. If you got to go within meditation to find it, you need to find it. Okay, let's go to um, the 14th. Could you give me a card for the 14th? Or could you might go my uh, ancestries come. Angels, ancestors, could you give me for the 13th? There we go. Okay. Arrow, surrounding yourself with protective energy. It says, surround yourself with protective energy. Because there's so many enemies out there that are after you, Scorpio. They like taking and dragging you dry. But you can't allow it. So you need to protect it. Get your sage out. Get everything you got in your power. Because they are envious of you. And they don't want you to succeed. A lot of people don't want you to see. They after you. And there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. That you, and you're retreating and running. Ain't no running going to do nothing. You're still going to have to come back to the same problem you had yesterday. <laughs> That's the way it works. Give me a card for the 14th. Give me a card for hero. Give me a card for the 14th, please. One card. Come on. We'll pull one for that one. The 14th. We have Autumn. Release the old and rest. It says release the old and relax. Rest. Um, I want to look this one up. Make sure I'm right. Because some things, you know, this is a new deck for me. And I'm learning as I go with certain decks. You got to take your time and, and um, you know, just basically uh, make sure you're right. Because you can be. Uh, I don't want to tell nobody something wrong. And then, oh, I could have looked it up before I opened my scruples. You know, be right instead of stupid. That's what I tell everybody. If you can't tell the truth, and if you can't take a few seconds to look it up, then dog on it. You just, you, you you ain't living right because, okay, it's on page 138. 138, trying to make sure I'm telling you right. Okay, basically, okay, um, message. Release all, okay, it says release all, all the pressure and expectations weighing you down. Shield it all so that you can recover before moving into it into the a time of renewal in other words you need to release it all let's go you know what is heavy what is holding you back you know is it a person a situation a dream okay like the trees letting go of their leaves and fruit in the autumn it's time to let it go in other words, let it go, let it go, let it get. 
That's my words. Get, get, get. Okay. I move to the next one. That was for the 15th. Now we're going to the 16th to see what they had for you. 16th, what do you want them to know for the 16th of September 2020? Card for the 16th, please, for my Scorpios. There we go. Stage, stage, trust and thrive. Trust in your inner self. Trust yourself. In other words, use your intuition, trust that you're right, use your intuition, and you can kind of sense things before they happen. You just got to do it, Scorpio, because you need to trust in yourself. Release the inside to trust, because sometimes we don't trust and we we thrive on it. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't trust too much, because people out here are very crazy. Okay, let's card for the 17th, please. I can't jump in. My ancestors and angels. You had two cards. You had Earth Money, Mother, Feel Loved and Confronted. Oh. Then you had a Heart Guardian, Love and Let Yourself Be Loved. Sometimes we have to let ourselves be loved because we feel like we're, we're fighting the purpose of. You know, if you want somebody to love you, first you got to feel the love. Because sometimes we don't feel the love, so we figure we ain't got to give it. But we all here need to love each other. Even then we're through the, you know, most difficult of times. Because it's it's kind of hard. Now we're going to our angel cards. See what advice they have for you. The angel cards. See what advice they got for you. Okay, angels. What advice you got for my Scorpios? What do you... Advice you give my Scorpios that you want them to know from the 13th to the 17th, please. What advice do you give my Scorpios? The 17th, the 13th to the 17th of 2020 of September. Okay. Here we go. Okay, we got a card for us. I'm gonna get down here and get it. Okay, it's um, ask for help from others. Sometimes, Scorpios, we need to ask for help instead of being into yourselves and not ask for it. It's nothing wrong with asking for help, especially when you're struggling and you ain't doing too good. Don't sit there and be foolish and don't do nothing. The angel says, you know, you can ask somebody. Sometimes you run into good people. You know, then you got these people you got to be careful about because not everybody's in your good favor. I understand that. But you got to trust that there is somebody. Now, let's get another one for my angel. What else? Okay. Looks like whatever you're thinking about, reconsider it, Scorpio. Reconsider it. It's not the time. Just like I was saying a while ago before we get in here talking about moving on and getting new jobs and new relationship and quitting the one. What it says, reconsider Reconsider it because you're making the haste decision to round retrograde. This is not the time because it makes us do things on impulse. It brings us out what we do not want out. It will bring it out of you. Okay. So don't get it twisted because I know I get it twisted sometimes. <laughs> but you know, hey, one more card from the angel. Anything else you would like to say to my Scorpio for the 13th and the 17th of 2020? Good advice to give them. Within the next few months, it says within the next few months, then make a decision to get that new job. And if you're still feeling the same way, then think about the relationship fix. Okay. Wait, because it ain't the time because it's going to, it can turn around to do something else. So be careful. It's telling you these within whatever and whatever else question that you may have asked, but that's what I'm feeling. Okay, that's for my Scorpios. How y'all do it? I hope y'all like that. From That was from the 17th, 13th to the 17th. And I love talking to y'all. And I want to say thank you for joining my, my team. And if you want to subscribe, Scorpio, I really appreciate it. And have a blessed one. Love all y'all. Push that down.